Seems like every day, everybody says it's an odd world. And if you take a look at the writing in the book, you see it has always been terrible and mystifying. Don't resist, no point in trying. Won't you come along with me? You'll see sights and sounds to fill your cup. Don't be shy, step right up to the odd world. Quarantine day, whatever. Harkening back to better times. Recently, we were on tour, passing through New Orleans during the Mardi Gras, and on the way there, passing through Slidell, in a puddle, I found this next beautiful creature, feverishly masturbating in that puddle. He said he knew his way around town, so we brought him to New Orleans and let him give us a tour. This, my dear people, is that tour. Oh, hey, oh, hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to New Orleans. Well, uh, good to see y'all, and uh, we're going to give you a little brief description about what's going on here in New Orleans. We're going to give you a little musical interlude, a little, a little clown second line, if you will. <laughs> One of the little places that we were given that maybe this is where vampires are. Maybe a clown vampire sucking all the fun out of things. We call them Republicans. We're going to shut the door and if the door opens, we're going to go in. It's not open at all because we don't live there. And I don't want to get in trouble. I don't know if you guys have been here before, but if you come, there's places you don't want to go. We're going to go to most of them. We got these folks up here that are enjoying a meal. They don't want to be bothered at all, and that's why we're going to bother them the most. How you doing, guys? Oh, we got a flapper! A flapper! Oh, I love getting burned by cigarettes. Oh, my teeth. Where are you guys from? Honestly. Your mom made you dress the same because she doesn't like you. Say it out loud. It's all right. <laughs> you guys want to buy some acid? I know I got it. Yeah. No, no. This place is way better on acid. I trust me. Somebody can put it in your If you're going to trust somebody, trust me. Does anybody have a credit card? Don't get pregnant! Don't let anybody come in you in New Orleans! Nobody wants to be a single mom when they leave New Orleans. It's totally true. Those kids were adopted, not by people they love, but by people that really needed their social security number. Mwah. Enjoy your time here in New Orleans! Thank you for coming out! Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Hi guys! Don't pick stuff up off the ground, it's full of tea! I know, because I see there! Showman back in the 30s and 40s, and he used to stay here with a miniature horse. All right, anymore? The horse used to jump off of the balcony into a tub of jello. All right, now they say that when the horse would make the splash, the jello would go everywhere. So, Bobby Brista technically came up with a mini horse act and the original jello shot. A little bit of New Orleans history for you guys right there. All right? It's not a lie if there's glitter in it. We're going this way. We like art, right? I got my own personal life stickers. Drugs these by Scabies the Clown. These are given to me by a few friends. I fucking hate Scabies the Clown. That's the new program we're trying to go with here in New Orleans. I fucking hate ScabiesTheClown.com. Hey, Scabies, how did Bourbon Street get the way it is? How did Bourbon Street get the way it is? Well, they built this wonderful street, right? And then they let white people on it, and they ruined it. Like, everything. All right? This, this is the New Orleans tradition. This is privileged white people, right? They have money to afford to be up there, right?
members of Clown Town in New Orleans, Louisiana. Here, Miss Zarina Hellfire. Hello. We have uh, Scabies the Clown and the effigy of Ms. Lana Guerra. Flutterbath. What is this Clown oh. Town thing, man? Oh my God. What is Clown, clown Town? town. We live in Clown we Town. Live. We are Clown we Town. We do. We are Clown Town. Clown Town is, is, uh, is a, it's, it's where we live and it's what we do. This town is, is basically run by magical thieving magicians. They just run shit like clowns. Yes, they not clowns. Clowns, clowns are better. They think they're clowns. We are clowns. But no, so. our, our yeah. show. Maybe we should talk about our oh, show. Yeah, talk about the oh, show. Oh, oh, the show. Oh, why fine. why did we so. make the show? I've always I get bored easy, so I wanted something different. A clown. Yeah, a clown show. We have so many shows here in New Orleans, but yeah. not a clown show. Yeah. There are no clown shows here. I have shows None. with clowns in them. But not but a no clown a show. No, a clown show. So, so they're like, fuck that shit. Yeah, yeah. fuck that shit. Fuck that shit, Lana. Fuck oh that God. shit. God. Yeah, and. Uh, we try and stay true to what clowning is. Yes. Clowning kind of has the rule is no rules. You know, <laughs> kind of. Clown. Don't talk about Clown Town, but you better be talking about Clown. Is that like Fight Club? But it's kind of like clown it's kind of like Fight club. club, but with men. Clown Town. So if I had two questions, one of them is, what would you do if you had a wealthy benefactor? That, what would Clown Town be with an unlimited resource? Yeah, you eat that, and I will say, I would love a permanent residence for Clown Town. A clown mansion, you know, where we can have guests from out of town, we can have artists in residence, we can have a clown party all the time and not have to worry about rising rent. And a nice place for our out-of-town clowns. Um, so they can practice arts like stuffing a balloon down there. Right, Lana? so exciting. Maybe a little correct. Maybe a And Flutterbug, and we'll have pork chop, and it's going to be amazing. There's going to be a high bite. One last bite. thing, man. Been Where been did you find good. that mess on your fucking head? What? <laughs> oh this my is God, called my face. This wig is famous. Right. Oh, this wig. Oh, wig. oh, this. I found this in a puddle on the cage. <laughs> I literally, I did, I did. I found it in a puddle. The story of the wig is I was dating this lovely lady. And I picked up the I picked up the, the wig. She looked at me and said, you, you better throw that out. So I threw it in the back of my truck rather than throw it on the street because I ain't no fucking litter bug. That's right. Right? She looked at me and said, you put that on your head, I'm not going to fuck you anymore. Well, and is. here we are. Literally. Clown town. And here we are, clown town. That lady's not here. But this way will live forever. Thank you guys for the tour and for oh, the you're laughs. Welcome. Thank you. And stay weird. Bye. Hi, I'm Kita St. Cyr. If you were entertained by that, make sure to hit like and subscribe and tune in each week for new episodes of Odd World Danger Show. We're practically dying to show it to you. Until then, stay weird, internet.